Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video is dedicated to all the incoming freshmen out there. Today's topic is something really important in college, going out. Where should I go? Why should I go there? Are some places better than others? These are all questions I had when I first got here at Tech. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to tell what you're seeing and have a general idea going into college. And you won't be like me spending the first few weeks wasting your time trying to figure out where you like to go. I sent out a survey asking if students prefer going to parties or clubs and bars. The results? Parties. Of the random college students at Texas Tech, 61.7% of people preferred parties. Here's why people chose parties. Alcohol. It's a well-known fact that college kids like to drink. And drinking for free is a lot easier to do at a party than it would be at a club or bar. Underage drinking, while I don't encourage it, is also a lot easier to do at a party. And this isn't just my opinion. This aligns with actual peer-reviewed research. That's right, I went and read a bunch of papers on this. That way you guys have the best information going into your freshman year of college. A paper in the National Library of Medicine states, nearly all students attending bars, 99%, reported the minimum drinking age was enforced. On the other hand, fewer than 43.6% of students attending Greek parties indicated the minimum drinking age laws were enforced. While not every party gives out free drinks, a lot of them do. And if you're just trying to get wasted for free on a Friday night, this might be your best option. Which brings me to reason number two. Cost. Some clubs and bars charge a cover fee, either certain nights or certain times. So, if you're a broke college student like me and don't want to spend money on getting in somewhere, you might show up to a little party. However, there is a catch. My guys out there, I am so sorry, but some parties do charge boys to get in. So, for girls, this might be the solution for you, but guys, it might end up costing you no matter what. That's why I found out a lot more guys tended to prefer going to a bar or a club over a party. Cost also relates to drinks. If they're not charging for alcohol at a party, then it's pretty cheap to get drunk. But if a bar or club isn't hosting a special, it's gonna cost some serious money to get drunk with your friends. Which brings me to reason number three. The people. As found in, you ready for it? This is a lot. Measuring college students' alcohol consumption in natural drinking environments, field mythologies for bars and parties, a peer-reviewed essay. Individuals will seek out environments that are consistent with their expectancies, motivations, and goals. If your goal is to go out with your friends, you're going to go where they are, and you'll tend to go out with people who enjoy what you enjoy. This doesn't mean if you're a club girly, you can't be friends with a party type. It just means you probably won't always be going out with them. Now, if you heard all those reasons to go to parties and were like, nah, that ain't for me, I have great news. You can go to clubs or bars. The main reason for going there? The music. While a party might have a DJ or someone on a speaker, they're not going to have that good quality music option or even like a top-notch DJ. They'll probably just have some fat guy who wants to give it a try. In fact, a lot of artists will come to these local bars or clubs to perform. Emily Chopper was actually at one of our local clubs a few weeks ago. This means you can go and see full-on concerts for free or cheap, and I definitely recommend it. Now on to alcohol. Lots of places have discount nights, which means you can, in fact, drink a lot at bars or clubs. The options are also gonna be a lot better than your party's typical Jungle juice, beer, and White Claw. You can get fancy with it. Maybe order a little vodka crayon or ranch water. And if you're really feeling it, order a round of shots for you and your friends. Which brings me to the next reason. Once again, y'all, the people. The people that you go with are gonna make it more fun. If all your friends go to a bar, you're gonna wanna go with them, not to some random party by yourself, which you should never do because that's also super unsafe. Now you might be like, Brie, why would I believe you? Even though I've quoted academic papers, which if you really want to read through, they are linked in the description box down below. And I am a college student myself who has experienced these things. But if that's not enough for you, don't worry. I went out and interviewed random people to find out what they have to say about going out. Catherine Wills, a friend of mine, said, well, I don't go out often. When I do go out, it's to a bar or club for the performances. I like to go to those many concerts and be in that atmosphere. Ariana, a random student that I actually don't know, said that she prefers clubs because of the music and the people. The owner of Club Pink, a local club here in Lubbock, 
when asked about how many underage people attend his business, said that college events are about 50-50. He also said that people choose his clubs over parties because of the music. And I quote, it's all about the sound production and how you get treated here. Notice how that my survey results showed that people prefer parties, but the random interviews I did were with people with a preference towards clubs. This means that incoming freshmen, it doesn't matter where you go, you're gonna have fun and you're gonna love it. But hopefully this video makes finding your preference just a little bit easier.